Hello and welcome to the review of my version of More Than Meets UI Cyclonus. I haven't uploaded for 50 days, so for those who are still subscribed, thank you so much for subscribing. This one is a bit different, there are still amendments I'd like to make before I release it to Cults 3D, so if you'd like to know more about the further upgrades that I'm going to make to Cyclonus, you can follow me on Twitter at Hightail underscore works. I personally really like my universe Cyclonus, but I also love the more than meets the Cyclonus design, so this one is partially inspired by that design. So for articulation, his head is on a swivel, so it can look all the way back. His head can look up all the way up for transformation. To move his shoulders, you have to move his back wings out a little bit, and they can move all the way around 360 degrees. There's an outward joint on the arm, where you have to move the flap out to move his arm. There's a swivel at the elbow, a bend at the elbow, and a rotation at the wrist. He also has waist articulation, which is slightly hindered by the cockpit on his back. So if you slightly just lift his cockpit on his back, then you can activate his waist articulation. His hip skirts move. It's like the ball joint, but it's, it's on a universal joint on his hip. His legs kick out a lot. And for the bend, for more bend, there's a flap at the back that you could flip out for extra, extra bend. His toes move up and down, and there is a slight pivot on his toes. There is also a swivel at the thigh. So all in all, he's quite articulated. He's the most articulated figure I've ever done. Let's look at the accessories now. He comes with two extra heads. He's got the full horned head, and let's put this on for transformation. And he's also got that scratched up face as you've seen before, and also a version where he's got his broken horn. He also comes with the great sword. For size comparison, here he is with Whirl, and here he is with Tailgate. There is storage for the sword, at the back there is a sheath that you can slide a sword in and it does not hinder any articulation or the look of the toy. Let's get into the transformation. So there are parts on this toy that might hinder transformation. So this is, there is a specific order in, in the way you transform to that Cyclonus for a very clean transformation. Um, this is this is after a few tries that I found this out myself as well. I should have known better, but <laughs> this is this is what it turns out to be. So first of all, flip his back wings back, rotate his fists and tuck them in. Close his arm panels and rotate it so the fins are facing you. Let's wait for the camera to go into focus. Uh, while, while the camera goes into focus, you rotate the arms upwards to free the path for the leg transformation. So you flip the hip skirts piece up and flip the forward piece inwards. The leg transformation is inspired by Siege Sight, Swipe or Siege Red Alert, and it transforms exactly the same. Flip his front panel outwards and flip it upwards completely covering the thigh and close it back up on the back. There is a round peg on the side of the knees, you can peg them in and that would secure the ultimate. mode. When you're here, rotate the arms downwards again. There's a slot on the leg and a tab on the arm and those two go together. Do that for the other side as well. So final thing, open his cockpit, flip his horns back, flip his head backwards, feed it through the cockpit and close the cockpit up. Flip the toes upwards and there you have more than meets the eye Cyclonus in his alt mode. For weapon storage, the weapon still slides into the sheath, although this is not the best look for the alt mode so I tend to leave it on the side.
think this cleans up pretty well, I think. This is a tight transformation, but it, but it ends up with a clean alt mode. And with a few tries after a few transformations, it slowly becomes clear and the, and the transformation becomes easier and easier. It's a lot easier to transform from alt mode to robot mode as it's just, it, it just unfolds. And here he is next to the G1 Cyclonus. You can see that the cockpit for more than meets your Cyclonus here is quite short. So in further revisions, I'd like to extend that cockpit, make it longer and have it maybe collapse it in itself for a longer and more accurate cockpit. Thanks for watching my review, I hope you like it. I really enjoyed making him, and he's a very nice addition to my collection. As you can see in the pictures here, he is quite poseable and I'm very happy about that aspect. As always, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, I would really appreciate that. Please stay tuned for Tailgate's review, that's coming up soon. Thank you, goodbye.